Welcome to Cooking with Trevo. Now guys, we're busy filming for our brand new uh, series that's coming up this autumn. But for now, I want to show you some of the older footage that myself and Tones have done. And I think we filmed this back in the last winter. And it's to show you how to make the perfect bolognese because from bolognese, we can make so many different recipes. So I want you to sit back, relax, put your feet up and see how to make perfect bolognese Trevo style. Enjoy it. Tones, what are we going to do today? We're going to make a bolognese because I want to show you you can make about 20 different dishes out of knowing how to make the perfect bolognese. So let's have a quick look at the ingredients that we've got. We've got some beautiful button mushrooms. We've got maybe it's about a pound there. We've got about two and a half medium onions. We've got about five, six cloves of garlic, three carrots chopped up, one courgette chopped up, and the star of the show, we've got four pound of mints. Now, remember my video on how to do beautiful loin of pork with a Jamaican stir-fried rice? Well, the trimmings of the pork, about half a pound has gone in with that mince, nice and fatty. Right, this is gonna be filmed in a couple of stages just so you can see exactly what we're doing. In this pot here, we have a good glug of oil and about a knob of butter, okay? So in go our onions and in go our garlic. And let that sizzle away. The most important thing in cooking is seasoning, okay? So that's why we gotta learn when to season at the right time. So we let that soften down. And students, pay attention to me because I'm bulking up this bolognese with really cheap ingredients because I am gonna feed 20 people for less than 20 euro with everything that we're doing here. Now, mushrooms into the pot. And at this stage, we can throw in our carrots as well. And we're gonna sweat that down nicely. The reason why we do this, Tones, is because by cooking with this technique, sweating it down, it brings out the natural sugars in all the ingredients. And you get this beautiful, natural sweetness throughout your food. Okay, so we're gonna season now at this stage, guys. Remember, this is for about 20 portions, so we're going to put in a good pinch of salt. Plenty of pepper. And finally, let me have a little look at my spice rack. We've got some lovely, just oregano, mixed herbs, Italian seasoning, it doesn't really matter. Okay, and we're going to put in about two tablespoons of this. Lovely. Now, you're gonna realize why I'm not putting anything else into it because this is the base of so many different dishes that we're gonna make, okay? So there's no chili or nothing going in yet. Now, the mushrooms are beginning to release their own natural liquid, the water that's in it. The carrots are beginning to caramelize. The onions and garlic are beginning to soften. Now we put in our courgettes. And I'm gonna show you something, guys. A lot of people will throw the mince in now, but again, I'm gonna show you why Trevo does it different and why Trevo's videos are quite possibly the best you'll find anywhere on YouTube. So second stage, guys, is I told you, we're now gonna fry off the mince for a couple of seconds beforehand. And we've put everything else onto a, just a kind of a simmering heat there. So put it in a nice hot pan. What you wanna do is, is you want to kind of fry it off and seal it in the pan here. And again, the importance, season as we go along. So a nice sprinkle of sea salt. You know me by now, guys, I only ever use rock salt when cooking. And a good grind of the pepper mill. And here is a super little trick, because everyone has this stuff at home. A beef stock cube. If you want to use the fresh stock, great. So we're going to let that seal. Again, it brings out its natural sugars. Look, lads, I'm like everybody. I forgot I had this one. I bought that one. Couldn't find this one. Realize I had two. So we're about to put two, three tablespoons of tomato puree into our pot here. And what 
this does, guys, is not only obviously gives it a tomato flavor, but it also thickens up our bolognese at the end, okay? Tomato puree is a great way to thicken sauces. I just wish, I wish I could bring you smelly chew or smelly bitter because the smell is just amazing. So I'll just get a close up on this so you can see the meat is browning. That's exactly what we're looking for. And I know when you're looking at the close-ups there, guys, you go, geez, that meat looks so red. My, my mince never looks that red. That's because I go in and I buy my beef from the butcher and I mince it through my own mincing machine. I'm telling you, 150 euros sounds a lot. Put it on the Christmas list and you will make that money back a thousand times within a year. So you get the idea. I'm gonna fry all this off and put it into our pot. Now, Tones, get a close-up in on this here now, right? This is all our meat in and we're just mixing it in there with the veg, like that. Now guys, I wanna show you a great thing here. This is what we're gonna do now, right? We're gonna take about two ladles out at this stage of the process, because I told you I'm gonna make about four or five different dishes from all this. So, about maybe two, two and a half ladles, that's enough to make three or four portions of my other dish. So now we're going on to our bolognese. And what we're going to do here, guys, right, this is simple. We are going to add in two tins of chopped tomatoes, okay, and a little bit of red wine. We're going to empty out whatever's left in the, in the cans from the, from the red wine, okay? So let's get cracking into that. Tin number one. And tin number two. And I love Halloween, lads, because do you know what? You just never know what the hell's going on. So two tins of tomato, in we go. So now guys, just rinse out the tins with a little bit of red wine. You're talking maybe a glass full. But guys, remember, please don't get caught up, don't get caught up on measurements in cooking. Because you don't need to. So we pour one into the other. In we go. Absolutely. And if you're afraid of using the wine, don't worry guys. It always cook the, the alcohol always cooks off whilst you're doing it. But if you're afraid of using wine here, you don't want to use drink, just use a little bit of water. Don't forget, we've already got a stock cube in there, guys, okay? Now, Thomas, I want you to get a close-up on this. That is our bolognese, and we are gonna let that simmer for about 25 minutes on a very gentle heat. And how you're gonna tell it's ready is you're gonna just basically pick up one piece of carrot and try it. And when it's, you still want it to be a little bit al dente. And that's, you know, even that, that just tastes absolutely amazing. And do you know what the incredible thing is, Tones? As that's reducing and as it's thickening up, it's gonna get even more concentrated flavor. 25, 30 minutes of simmering of our bolognese. And look what we have got, guys. An absolute incredible dish. Tones, show the guys on YouTube land a close up of this beautiful bolognese, please. So that is just absolutely fantastic. For less than tw for less than 20 euro, I have shown you I'm gonna feed 15 to 20 people minimum out of this pot of bolognese. I'm gonna show you how to do five, six, seven, maybe even 10 different dishes from them. This is the basics of what we want, a good bolognese. Tones, we're gonna to have some good fun trying out all this. Now, the reason why I want you to make such a big pot of that bolognese is because when that's gone totally cold, you can freeze it into portions of three and four and you can take it out anytime you want with no hassle. Coming up in this clip, it's a recipe that's near and dear to the heart of every Irish person. It's how to make the perfect mashed potato, and I mean the perfect mashed potato. So enjoy this one guys, because mashed potato and bolognese coming up, any idea what dish I'm gonna make? Check it out, enjoy. This is very, very simple. You don't need me to show you boiling potatoes, but there you are just in case guys, all right? So, 20, 25 minutes, good floury potato. I'm using roosters. When they're done, take them off, and what we do is let them steam dry. So they are just perfect. They are already done, floury. And here on our stove, we've got 
cream and butter melting very, very gently. And that's what we're going to put into our mashed potato. Now, you guys know me and I tell you all the time, do not use stupid gadgets, okay? But unfortunately, for the perfect mash, we are going to use the gadgets. So here's what we do. Look, just tip those potatoes into a bowl, okay? And this is what's known as a potato ricer. So here's what we do, right? Put one or two of the spuds in, close it over, and then just mash it or mince it or rice it straight down. Watch this. And that is the difference. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that to all these potatoes now. Give me two seconds and we'll come right back. So that's all our potatoes minced. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of cream and butter from the stove. I'll bring that over, Tones. Look at that. Simple. Okay? Now, we're going to add this in and if you find that it needs a little bit more cream or even a little bit more milk tones, there's no problems. You're just going to add it in. You just got to play around with it for a little while. So, here we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, Tones, we're going to pour this in here. I just, you know what? Everything, like, is so bad about this. It's just good. Cream, butter, spuds. The Irish make the best mashed potato in the world. And what we're going to do is, in, is just stir that in and you can see not a lump inside now some people might think that that's fine but I want a little bit more but I also want to season it as well okay so good grind of the pepper mill and also spuds love salt so do I rock salt you know me by now lads. it's all I ever use in cooking and there's a thousand things you can add to mashed potato, but I love to show you the basic mashed potato. So then when we're doing other videos to show you how to make horseradish potato, Dijon potato, champ potato, bacon and leek mashed potato, it's only gonna take me two seconds. So I'm gonna pour in the rest of this now. And I'm gonna give you the greatest tip ever for your dinner parties. You can have all this done in advance, all of it. Four or five minutes, in the microwave, look at this sounds, it's just getting better and better. Four or five minutes in the microwave, into the oven, in one of these amazing dishes, Le Creuset, or an oven proof dish. And a little bit of butter on top, and oh my God, we're talking heaven. Look at that. Look at this. Tea towel quickly. One crack at a peppermint. One little bit of salt. A little bit of parsley. And that, my friends, is how to make perfect mashed potato every time. Trevo style. Mashed potato like that, I could eat it by the bucket load. And trust me, I've been known to do it. So we got beautiful mashed potato and we got the most incredible bolognese. And coming up after the break, I'm gonna put the two of them together and make an absolute stunning dish that so many people confuse. Is it shepherd's or is it cottage pie? We never know. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you.